I have been in a total pole slump lately. You could call it a progress plateau or maybe burnout. I'm advanced enough now that the basics feel boring, but not advanced enough to really learn any new tricks without an instructor, so I'm sort of stuck. Every training session feels like rehashing the same old thing, and more often than not involves frustrated tears. The victory of starting out feels years in the past, and the possibility of getting a new trick feels years in the future. So I decided to ask you, my interesting and creative subscribers, for the weirdest possible pull prompts in an attempt to shake myself out of these doldrums, and you delivered so many great prompts. If you don't see yours in this particular video, it's because I had a Jimmy Neutron style brain blast and decided to make another separate video with it. Our first prompt comes from Instagram. Wear a blindfold while pole dancing. Now this suggestion also came with a caveat, but use a see-through one so it's safe. But truthfully, I close my eyes while doing floor work type stuff anyway, so I decided to go with that. I switched the pole to static to minimize the risk of any unseen twisting, let my blindfold fall over my eyes, and then also closed my eyes, just, you know, to really go for it. I roll around in the floor, then grab the pole and bring myself upright in a saucy little way. I perform a single climb, then slide back down in a sitting position. Our next prompt from Instagram, keep one hand on the pole at all times. This means it's time for an inch thick coating of eye tack. <laughs> I think this prompt means at least one hand on the pole at all times, but I'm taking it literally, so righty here will be the one maintaining contact. Here's a spinning climb into a jasmine, then a low superman that, you know what, we'll pretend I gracefully finished the combo instead of just falling to my knees. <laughs> But I'm still going. A couple little pirouette turns, an attempt at a mercury, remembering that I can't remember how to do a mercury. And then finishing it off with a half-hearted human flag. My right hand is so sweaty, but this is fun so far. Here's a similar prompt pole dance without your hands touching the pole. Let me just pause a second to say that I even had fun designing these little prompt graphics on Canva. I can tell that this project has revitalized me because I actually wanted to put care and attention into the little details. I laid the mat down because this seems like a recipe for slipping off the pole, but to slip off, First you have to get on, and my attempts at using my elbow as a hold then pulling up into a climb were not, uh, they just weren't. Back to static again. By holding the pole in my elbow pit, bringing my inside leg up, and doing a side climb, I was able to at least clear the floor. Mm -hmm. 
And then I thought I'd be real slick and try an elbows only shoulder mount, but what? What? Why would I do that? Kels, sit down. I combined the next two prompts. Do everything on just one side or just your bad side. My left hamstring is much more flexible than my right hamstring, so I'll show you a couple of stretchy moves with the right doing most of the work. But I mean, I always train everything on both sides, so I'm basically perfect at every move on my left and my right. I don't even have a bad side. I definitely don't forget what I'm doing if my less flexy leg is in charge plummeting me down to the mat as I attempt an Allegra. Ugh. Here's a bonus for you, a jade split, which is supposed to be a flat upside down split. Not only am I showing you my bad side, but it's at the worst possible angle, a double whammy. The next prompt is a challenge. Move to a different level every 20 seconds. The person who suggested this said it's a game they play in pole class, where level 1 is on the floor and level 4 is up in the air. I left my mat down because I assumed I'd be doing some cool shit way up high, but it immediately got in my way for the floor portion, so I could only kind of swivel around. Twenty seconds. My hands are already sweating so much I can barely hold a chair spin for half a turn. Let me just throw in a fan kick. Forty seconds. Okay, a climb into a crucifix will give me a chance to release my hands and let them dry. seconds. Nobody has ever been more slippery than this. I can't even grab the pole to bring myself up into a climb. I am a human slip and slide. This activity has been humbling. Too humbling. From slippery to silicone, next up we have wrap yourself in the silicone wrap and pole dance that way. You know and love my silicone pole wrap from Aerial Essentials, which I can wind around the pole to create an extremely grippy surface. Rappy and I have had our differences in the past because it's annoying as hell to get to lay flat, but who cares about that when I'm wrapping it around me? My first technique is to grab the wrap in my hands, then place them against the pole. We have liftoff, a pencil angel carousel spin. <laughs> Next, I went for tucking the wrap under my armpits, bath towel style. The long ends of the silicone wrap trail behind me as I try to press my inside armpit against the pole and lift up my legs for a teddy. Literally, the only time I can do a teddy is with a silicone wrap, and it is hilarious to me that bath toweling the wrap lets me actually achieve the teddy on my second try. Finally, I went for a climb Mulan style, looping the wrap around the pole and grabbing the loose ends of it to lift myself up. This felt like a quick way to yank the pole loose, so I stopped after one climb. Here's another suggestion from YouTube. This one says, do a spooky themed routine. 
You on spooky? I've got this terrifying, fake, blood splattered dress all ripped up and grody from a photo shoot in which I was Bloody Mary. I undid my braid and brought my long hair in front of my face for the full effect and uh, yeesh, I'm creeping myself out a little. The scariest thing here, though, was when I tried to do some air walks. I could barely hold myself up. Man, why does the lack of grip have to ruin my time even when I'm just being silly? Then I just copied the move I've seen people do on Instagram, which involves straightening up from a side climb, grabbing the pole behind your back, and releasing all your limbs forward so you just hang on with your bent rear arm. I look undead. From creepy to cute, the next prompt is pole dance in a dino costume. There are no batteries in here. Let's try this again. Now, I've actually done this before. You probably just don't remember because YouTube decided to mark that video as for kids and show it to absolutely nobody. So let me take a moment to tell you about this inflatable dinosaur costume. It is so cumbersome. My face is about a foot and a half lower than the T-Rex's face when it's blown up. The inflatable sticks out from my body so far that spatial awareness is an impossibility, especially with a long tail. But I'm determined to give you a good show, even if just facing the pole is a problem because the head is in the way. By yanking the costume up just enough to expose my forearms and calves, I can latch onto the pole for a very low side spin. But just once, apparently. This dino would drop it low if it were possible to bend. Absolutely Cretaceous! I slip from my climb, then waddle towards the camera in defeat. Finally, we have this. Dress as Tom Nook and dance to the Animal Crossing theme song. If you don't know, Tom Nook is the raccoon who sells you your home in Animal Crossing, the video game series. He, like me, has two soft round ears, not held on by a headband, and a dark bandit mask shape on his furry face, not messily made from eyeshadow, an apron with a cute little leaf design. No pants. I decided to dress as the original version, not the nice one who wears a shirt and wants to help you, the mostly naked evil capitalist version of Tom Nook who's gonna ask you WHERE'S MY FUCKING MONEY, Denny? until you pay him the bells you owe. Anyway. This was super fun, and I'm excited that I still have some prompts left over to work with. I actually am looking forward to my next poll session, which is something I haven't felt for a long while now. And that's all thanks to you! Bye! The subscribe button appears on the right. A suggested video and playlist appear on the left.